Hey guys, uh, this is uh, my second video with commentary so far, and it's my first video on um, the test construction set on this channel. So today, we're going to be looking at the basics again, uh, just to freshen our memories if you don't already know the basics of the construction set. I wouldn't be surprised if I've forgotten as well, so um, yeah, let's just get started. So, first thing I want to do, and the first thing you'll notice, is uh, you got three windows. Um, and of course the one, the main one, but you've got three windows, you've got the object window, the render window, and of course the cell view. Now, um, first comes first, the object window is literally what it is, okay, items, objects in the game, chairs, chests, weapons, clothing, all that shit. But you're thinking, well, that's not right, because there's nothing here. There's nothing actually, you know, you go through and there's nothing, well there is a li there's a few things, but this is just like, without the main data loaded. So we need the main data of Oblivion itself loaded. So to do that, what we do is is we click on this little folder up here. You just go to File and Data. And uh, obviously you need Oblivion installed, otherwise, well that's kind of obvious, but you won't show up. Now it'll come up with Oblivion and any other um, ESPs you will have, or ESMs. Now, uh, ESMs are master files and ESPs are just plugin files, normal plugin files. I'm going to open Oblivion, uh, Shivering Isles, and Knights of the Nine. Now, um, I've got a few mods, but I'm not going to bother with them for the moment. And I'll uh, just click OK, and all these things here will be loaded. So, all the weapons and the items from the Shivering Isles will be loaded, all the objects, all the trees, all the plants, all that stuff will be loaded for you when you click OK. Also, you know, Knights of the Nine shit. So, um, yeah. You just click OK and uh, it should it should say you have not set a file as the active file. Now, the active file is um, the file that everything gets saved into. So, uh, like, you know, if you've got a mod loaded, you're going to have to set it as the active file so that all the changes you make will get saved into uh, the mod that you're making. So let's just click yes and it should load. It may take a while because I got shit tons of stuff to load. Load Duke Nukem. Uh it, it should come up with like errors, but I just click yes to all and I've never had any problems with it in game, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Everyone gets errors. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that's how to open your actual data files, and then I'll explain the rest of these windows and what the shit, what the shit you can look at. Yeah, that makes sense. And uh, basically, you're thinking this is the render window, right? Uh, there's nothing rendered in here. Now the cell view. If you double click on anything here, these are all the interiors of the game. Every single interior ever made by Bethesda in the game. Um, now if you click on the little drop down, you can see there's all sorts of shit here. Now the main world, the outside world that we know, Tamriel, you just click on that. And uh, that'll load up. I'm going to go to Anvil West. We'll just double click on a tree there, and uh, as you can see, we're on the outside. And it looks a bit weird at first, it's because it's rendering. It's the render window, of course. It's got to render. Um, yeah, so I will be doing house making tutorials and all that, but this is just the basics, and uh, I'm going to do a few basic controls. So, on your keyboard, obviously there's keys. No duh. Now, you can actually use hotkeys on in the construction set itself. If I, if I click on the render window, inside the render window, and press the A key, you can see artificial lighting comes on. Now, artificial lighting is uh, basically artificial lighting. That's literally what it is. It lightens up the whole entire render window. Anywhere you are, it'll be really bright so you can see everything. It looks ugly and dull, okay? Now, if you hit A again, you can see all the all the lights that are, have been placed by um, Bethesda. Or, if you've made a mod already and then you load it, you can see the shit that you've placed in the game. And uh, it's not only just turning lights on, you can also hotkey other things. Um, if you have, like, an item, I'll just drag an item, I'll get a weapon. 
if you drag an item into the uh, render window, screw it, just have this, and you hit the F key, it goes straight to the ground. Now you're thinking, oh shit, it's disappeared. Now if you hit the C key, you can see the side of it. Um, and that's like putting it into a perspective view so you can see it. So once again, if you hit the F key, no, no other buttons touched, hit the F key, you will go down. And, of course, to move around in the render window, you hold shift, and you move your mouse around. Just move your mouse around. No buttons clicked, just shift, and moving your mouse around. Now, if you want to dolly in and out, like zoom in and out, that's, of course, the scroll wheel, the third mouse button. Uh, if you want to sort of zoom in more accurately, you hold the V key, and you move your mouse forward. As you can see, it's a lot more better than just chunkiness. You can zoom in into little details to uh, edit them, you know, in the future. Um, what else can we do? Uh, we can do this hold space bar, and you can actually move around, like, all sorts of, you know, you move left to right. It's like a free camera, basically, so you move around here and there, um, yeah. And that, uh, and I've lost my battle axe, there is. Also, I'm pretty sure the T key is the top. There you go. See T on your keyboard. If you just hit T, the T key, and uh, it'll go to the top of whatever you you've selected. Uh, so we'll just delete that. Well, I'll do weapon edits and all that shit. But we're gonna do some more detailed tutorials in this uh, channel. Um, yeah, there's loads of stuff to learn. I mean, I I know a lot. To be fair, I'm not the best modder, but I do know a lot about the construction set. Um, no posting there. I'm just the best. Jokes, 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 jokes. I'm only kidding around. No, but, uh, really, guys, um, once you get used to all the controls and stuff and how to move around in the render window, I'm sure you'll find it easy. Now, the object window, as I explained earlier, is all the items in the game. And that is literally what I mean. All the items. So, um... Oh, actually, I can do quickly, I can just quickly explain to you how to duplicate items and uh, objects in the render window. Now, if you hit control, you hold control down, and then you hit D with control held down, and you click on the thing you just, like, want to duplicate. You drag it, and now I've got two. Now I've got two of this uh, plant. Aloe vera leaves, or whatever the fuck it is. Um, and obviously, you just click on it, you can press delete to delete it. A lot of people don't really know that. I actually got somebody asked me how to delete things, and they meant in here. You can also delete like actual items in the game completely. Um, to copy something and then paste it somewhere else, you click on something. Literally, like in any other program, you hit, you hold Control and press C. You just copy that. Now, if I go over here and I hold Control and press V, boom, the rock's straight there. That's uh, copying and pasting for you and duplicating. Um, also, there's like all sorts of other shit you can do. Um, I guess I could explain grid snap and rotate. Angle rotate or whatever. Angle snap, sorry. Yeah, if you hold, if you put this little grid up here on this toolbar at the top, you'll find that when you drag something around, it'll be a lot more rigid. And that is because we've got grid on. Now, what you can do is. If you want to change the preferences, when you're building an interior of a mansion, it's going to be quite difficult. That's why you need grid. And um, what you do is, is you click on this little hand holding a piece of paper as preferences. Preferences comes up, and you have movement speed snap to grid, which is, uh, it gives like a, a degree, so 64. Uh, snap to angle, which is 45 degrees, and that's that one there, the little red angle thing. Um, what else is there? Uh, yeah, if you want to change a snap to reference, the thing is, what you have in this game, in this uh, construction set, sorry, if I wanted the interior of a house, I'll just find interior, 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 interior. Oh, this, this is just gay. I just want to find an interior. Uh, Architecture, here we go. Right, I have this, this thing here. As you can see, it looks quite weird, doesn't it, from the top. You don't need to worry about that, okay? I'll explain that in other videos. But if I get two of these, I'll just duplicate this one. Remember, Control D to duplicate. As you can see, it's not actually clicking into place. 
and uh, it's not it's not working properly. Now what you can do is is you can um, click on preferences. Okay then preferences do not and then you click on select snap reference. You go select render reference in render window and then you select the uh, reference you want to snap like you put it on a grid like properly. You double click, click OK, click OK. Yeah, that makes sense. Click OK, click apply and you click close. Um now as you can see, that is perfectly snapped. There is nothing wrong with that. I just click off of that. That's perfectly snapped. No gaps. And that is a uh, a big problem. A lot of people have problems with um but I'll go into more detail with that. But I mean, you can you can have like a a mini house here. But obviously, interiors are different to exteriors. So at the moment, we're in the exterior of Tamriel. You know, the whole entire place. Oblivion. Um, and if I go into interiors... This is every interior in the game, as I said earlier. We'll just go into an alien ruin. There we go. And as you can see, this is a typical alien ruin. It might be the main quest one, who knows. It's quite dark in here, so you can turn artificial lighting on now I'm blind. Huh. Basically, every snap reference, every every reference that can be snapped in the game, so like every corner, these little corners, these like, you know, balls and shit, you know, they're all, they can all be snapped into a certain reference. And these, like, each piece has got an ID, and each way, as you can see, that's snapped perfectly. This piece is related to this piece, and this piece is related to this piece. You, they're all, like, related, as you say. Um, and that means they can connect together, so, like, they can actually join together. But, it's not as, it's not as hard as it sounds, really. I'm making it sound, you know, difficult, but it isn't, really. And uh, we'll go, when I'm making interiors and shit in uh, videos, I'll just explain what I'm doing. And if you want to undo an action, so for instance, if I move this all the way over here, and I think, oh god, what have I just done? What you can do is, you can hold the control key, and press Z on your keyboard, and it'll go back. Did you see that? Okay, just once more. Control Z, which is control undo. Um, that's in a lot of other programs as well. So, uh, yeah. That's it's quite an easy action, but um, yeah, you can mess around with this game so much in the construction set. You can make it to be something completely unique. You can make like an underwater home. It's you know, it's it's all about creativity in the construction set. So uh, I'm gonna call this a video now, guys, and um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you want, if you have any like uh, requests, um, I will personally make a video for you and anyone else who needs the same as you. Um, like, or how do I build this, or how do I do this, or, you know, you can you can ask, but the only thing I'm, I can't, I've never ever tried, and I've never actually done, is questing, and, and dense, dense scripting for questing, that's the only thing I've never done, I've done everything else, I just, scripting's okay, I'm, a, I'm alright at scripting, but, um, I need to get better at that, really, but yeah, ask away, um, I'll try my best, I literally will try my best to, uh, do another video, another video for you, um, and yeah, thanks for watching guys, please rate, comment and subscribe.